What's up, YouTube? This Rose go back and give another video and I check it out. Now, I had somebody in my comments. I had to go back and read them shits. Because they, they said, this person says that Sparkle Ass told her niece to go sit on R. Kelly's lap. Rub his head. And ask him to be your godfather. Message get to this. Now I had said, who took that damn picture? And I remember somebody put that in my comments. And I'm like, hold on, let me go read this person's comments. Yeah. So she didn't took this picture. Allegedly. So she telling her niece, go sit on R. Kelly's lap. Rub his head as if he's a damn genie. He gonna give her three wishes and shit. <laughs> Oh, man, what's going on, people? So, this is clarification again of Sparkle know much more than she knows. You know what I'm saying? That, or, or should I say she knows more than what she's telling about her part in this shit. You feel me? Like, she's she's the recruiter. Shit. She's one of the damn recruiters, man. Yeah, go sit on his lap and you know what I'm saying? Let him let him let him put his arm around your waist. Girl, he ain't gonna hurt you. Look in ass. Sparkle ass is canceled. That's it. Her ass canceled. She been canceled though, but she she really canceled now. And since this shit is coming out, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. She shouldn't even be showing her damn face. Man, sit. She should be sitting laying low. You feel me? Man, and if her mama didn't know this stuff, like if her mama truly didn't know none of this stuff was going on like that, like that, you know what I mean? Like nothing. I'd be beating Sparkle's ass. Huh? What is that, her mama's sister? <coughs> I'd be beating her ass. She would have a knot for every year that has passed <laughs> on her damn forehead. <laughs> Blop, blop, blop. You know what I'm talking about? Man, Sparkle is a big, uh, a big piece of this puzzle, man. This is a sad story, you know. It, it hurts my heart because I would never want R. Kelly to be, to turn out like this. And I ain't in den denial of nothing because I, I, uh, I didn't believe it about the tapes when it very first came out back in 01. But at the time went on, because I know people personally from Chicago. Shout out to, to my Chicago people. And they was telling me, that's R. Kelly on that tape. And he does come up there to McDonald's and be waiting on them girls. All right? Because allegedly, they tr he tried to talk to them one day, and they was like, hell no. Because they already knew how he was. They knew the truth. You see what I'm saying? So if you got Chicago people, they will tell you, yes, that shit is true. Ain't nobody gonna deny that shit. You can't deny it now. So if anybody ever had to, if they were still in denial from back in the day, oh man, you shouldn't be right now today. Huh? Mm-hmm. Well, people, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna show my true feelings about this because R. Kelly, man, I still got love for R. Kelly, man. I ain't, I, I, hey, call me what you want to, you know what I'm saying? I know the stuff he did was wrong. But I also know he was he was messed with as a child, all right? And, you know, it, it just goes back so far. So hurt people hurt people. You know what I mean? I just wish, I just, you know, I just, I just hate that for him, man. I hate that he turned out to be this monster, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? I really, really, down in my heart, I'm going to pray for R. Kelly, man. <laughs> ain't too much we can do about that but it, it's sad it saddens me for real people because you know what i'm saying i just i never thought that this would be the outcome of r kelly you know what i mean and you do sir you know you do crimes you gotta do time man that, that that's just what it is and and they're making an example out of r kelly yes they should but what about but what about the rest of these industry people Okay, we got R. Kelly. What about the rest of these people? Okay, we got Bill Cosby. What about the rest of these people? Huh? That was hanging around R. Kelly. Hell, Jay-Z was going with Aaliyah. Then Dame Dash was going with her. 
I know she was of age then, but it's the principle of. Hmm? You knew her background, huh? But you didn't give a damn. And you used and abused her. You see what I'm saying? And you too was a person that used and abused a woman. So what about the rest of these people? Hmm? Huh? You know, when, when 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 a young female got a dream, she ain't even 18. She she just goes to New York, California, wherever. She feel like she just going to blow up, and then they take advantage of you. You want to be a model or something. They say, well, hell, I can help you get, you know, get to this uh, this big person because, you know what I'm saying, shit, just do, you know what I'm saying, just have sex with me, and I'll make sure your name stay out there. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have sex with me, I'll make sure you never work here in this town again type shit. You see what I'm saying? What about the rest of these people? When, it, when are they going to start, you know, getting the rest of these people that's been doing this for years before R. Kelly and after R. Kelly? Shit. Like all the Trey Song stories we didn't heard about, all the Chris Brown stories we didn't heard about. Are they true? Hell, I don't know, but I'm just saying. Those get brushed under the rug real fast. And see, those are the situations Situations people need to pay attention to is the ones that get brushed. You know, I pay you off type shit. Hmm? Yeah. How they destroy Michael Jackson and things of that nature. So when they, you know what I'm saying? When they, when they, oh, I'm going to shut up now. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't got paid off, now you quiet. That's why I can get like, celebrities not trusting their fans you see what i'm saying because who's to say you won't say i did something to you like they did tupac allegedly like they did tupac like that lady did tupac and guess what it came out she come out years and years and years later about 20 years later talking about he, he did not do that to me but you ruined him at that time you tried to ruin tupac and everybody know Tupac would never do no shit like that. Ever. You know what I'm saying? He would never take a, 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 a advantage of any woman, no matter what race she were. Pac loved women, and he was sincerely in love with all black women. All right? So, yeah. What about that type of shit, too? People lying and people that's not lying, but nobody's listening to the people that's not lying. You feel me? But then they listen to the people that would, are what? Lying. Yeah, try to ruin my boy legacy. Man, you would never... Hey, hey. God damn it. I'm glad she came out and said this man did not do nothing to her. But it's, it's so sad that after he dies, you come out and tell the truth. Man, this shit crazy. Damn shame. After he dies, then you tell the truth. Ain't that a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So what y'all think about that, man? This R. Kelly shit, you know, the more I talk about it, it's like, damn, R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? But he did that shit, y'all. But at the same time, what about these other people that was a part of this shit? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They should not be getting off. But as you can see, they are. Message.